I built a working Lego Wii. First click this button to turn everything on. Put your disc of choice into the Wii. Then raise the antenna on the TV. Turn on the TV. And then start playing your favorite games. When you put your disc into the Wii, it lowers a hammer that's connected to a gear, causing the input axle to be connected to the output axle and completing the gear train. So when the disc is in and you rotate the input axle, it is then able to rotate the output axle as well. Then when you take the disc out of the Wii using this handy little eject button, there's a counterweight to lift the gear connected to the arm up, causing the gear train to be incomplete. That output axle is connected to a drive shaft, which feeds into the the stand of the TV. Inside the stand of the TV, we have a simple cam gear-like mechanism, and because the players are freely able to move, the holy beams are able to push up the players when they're facing up and come back down when they move back down. I also set the beams on alternating sides, so then the players will move separately from each other and it will look more realistic. I put clips on the nunchuck so it won't fall out when you're epic gaming, and if you have a keen eye, you'll be able to notice that the pieces on the Wiimote are actually facing opposite sides from each other. I was able to do that using bracket pieces, headlights, not bricks, and jumper plates. Subscribe. And that's how...